This is Elijah Keating from Wisdom Seekers, and I'm here to give the general energy for mid-May till the end of May for 2018, and I hope it's a good one. Let's start out with the heart, Psychic Tarot heart cards. All right, and can you figure out which one I'm going to pull? You're right, this one. Well, I'm going to try anyhow. There it is. I've got one. So let's see what it is for Aries. Oh, it's a good one. It's coming together. It's coming together with the heart. It's coming together as a group or a family. It's simply just coming together. So the energy should be coming together this month. And what can I say about that? I don't know. Let's find out what I can say about that. So I am excited. I have a new deck of cards today. Now watch what can happen with a new deck of cards. Isn't that sweet? All right. So which ones are calling to me for coming together Aries nice card temperance and that is indeed a coming together card it's a card of the angel or goddess or whatever you choose to call her has come to earth and she's brought with her holy water and she's pouring it from one vessel to another which the holy water represents uh, the divine life that's coming to earth and the, and the old dark energy is being shoved back and the new daylight energy is coming up and things are growing beautifully it is indeed a coming together but let's find out what else there is so also for Aries there is some business to do, some business to transact. Three of Wands. It's a lady looking out over her boats, and she's put a lot of energy into, a lot of money, a lot of energy into her boats, and she's sending them out, hoping they will come back laden to, with much more in return that she can sell. So this is this is the energy of. of trusting yourself, trusting who you are, and trusting that things will come together because you've put the effort into it. Well, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a half month without some confrontation, some kind of uh, some kind of uh, protecting your in interests. But that's all right. That's part of life. And it could be a big thing. could be a little thing. Let's see how it's going to turn out. Because the energy before is very positive. Okay, which one? We'll find out. I think it's this one. So the energy before is very positive. The energy after is very positive. So maybe it's a releasing of the old energy that uh, that has you fighting and protecting yourself because the sun energy is a spiritual song is sign extremely spiritual as far as i'm concerned because true spirituality is joyful and happy if you're not joyful and happy then you're you're barking up the wrong tree and that's all there is to it and if you don't agree with me that's totally fine i don't mind this is my my knowledge, and I'm not even going to call it belief because it don't it is not a belief. It's knowledge. True spirituality is joyful, and so she's very joyful. And again, it's a goddess or an angel or something like that, and she's looking to heaven because that's traditionally where spirituality is from, is up, and she she's quite joyful about it. So it wouldn't have mattered which card I pulled. They're both the same things. 
So things are coming together. And this is the lovers. But in this case, it's a coming together. It's a card of joy. It's a card of, of things working well. So the majority of the last part of April, of May, pardon me, English, the last part of May should be very happy and very, very positive. Let's see what else we've got for it for a cut down. Okay, and it does seem to be the general consensus because I've got love abounds and coming together and love abounds is a very positive energy. So in this one, it suggests that the, the more you can love, and obviously it starts with yourself, the more your third eye can open and the more you can see clearly that which is the truth around you. So very positive for Aries this couple of weeks. New things coming. Be be confident in what in what you believe in. Don't worry if you have to argue a little bit because it's probably a great deal of release in that arguing. So love, love your, uh, love yourself. Allow yourself to be happy. Allow yourself to be joyful. And with that, you will find that there's a great deal of joy coming your way. And that is, hey, that's really good love coming your way is always a positive it doesn't matter what kind of love it is any form of love is is the right form of love as long as it's real love because there's many many ways of saying you love people which are not love but we know this don't we we know that uh, controlling owning they're not really love true love is joyful, it's happy, and it's giving. Do you want to blow that out for me? Because the last time I did, I kind of burned myself, remember? There. Thank you very much for that. And Aries, it's been wonderful talking with you. And now I must go. Namaste. Namasco.